Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at some brand new packing cubes from Air. And Air still has one of my favorite travel bags of all time, the Travel Pack 2, but a travel bag is only a small part of what can make your trip feel efficient or turn into a little bit of a nightmare. One of the things that I use while traveling to keep my sanity is packing cubes. I've reviewed a ton of them on the channel. I've expressed my love for modular packing a bunch, and so I was very excited to see what Air would be bringing with their new line of cubes. In addition to the packing cubes, we're also gonna be taking a look at their card holder, which is a really interesting minimal wallet. A wallet is maybe something that you don't think about as much when you're getting ready to travel, but having the right wallet can make your trip go a little bit more smoothly. So I'm excited to dive into each of these items with you guys, but before doing so, I wanna thank the company for sending them for me to test out. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, these have a pretty standard packing cube look. In general, packing cubes are very simple, just rectangular shape generally, but I like that Air has tried to at least maintain their normal aesthetic with the all black packing cubes. They also have very minimal branding along the front with their logo and they just look really sleek and they match up well with the rest of the items in their ecosystem. As far as the materials, the packing cubes are made out of a very nice ADD nylon, which feels very lightweight, which is really important for packing cubes so that you don't add extra weight to your bag, but they're also very durable, which is nice to see. And then you have YKK zippers all throughout along with Hypalon zipper pulls would feel really nice. Along the outside, you also have a handle at the top, which is gonna make it really easy to grab the packing cubes out of a bag. So a really nice, straightforward design. The packing cubes are offered in three different sizes. You have a large, which is about 14 liters, a medium, which is what I have here, is about 10 liters, and then the smallest size is six liters. And so it's nice to have that variety of options for organizing all of your stuff. These are meant to fit very nicely into the Air Travel Pack 2, which as I mentioned in many other videos, is one of my favorites to use. And so these work great with the shape of that bag and kind of mix and match which cubes you place. So I was able to fit the large cube and the smaller cube into the pet travel pack comfortably. I was also able to squeeze in all three and then it fits very nicely if I use the medium and the small cube. So you can just kind of choose which ones work best for you depending on what you're packing. And then I, one of my favorite things about packing cubes in general is that they just make it easy to turn any bag into a travel bag. You know, you can just pack your stuff into a cube and toss it in. So even something like Air's Tech Pack 2, which is more of a work and everyday bag, I was able to place one of the packing cubes into the main compartment and then I could use it for minimal travels. And some of the differences that I noticed with these packing cubes compared to many of the others that I've featured on the channel is that they don't have any sort of mesh along the top. So that has its pros and its cons. One of the good things about that is that it keeps your clothes from getting dirty. Sometimes the packing cubes that have mesh on the top, you know, if you have other stuff in your bag, there can be dirt that can get inside of the bag, but that does reduce the amount of visibility. If you're not sure what's in each packing cube, they can tend to look the same. So it's nice to have that visibility provided by the mesh. Also, the mesh allows the bag to expel all of the air when you're packing it out. Whereas with this packing cube, you wanna make sure to leave a little gap with the zipper so that when you press it down, it'll really compress uh, because you don't have that mesh at the top. And then these packing cubes each have a separate dirty clothes compartment. So they have the standard compartment where you pack everything and then they have an area for dirty clothes, which is always a really nice thing to have, um, you know, while you're on the go, especially if you don't wanna take an extra laundry bag, you can just, you know, take your clothes out. Whenever you're done wearing a shirt or some pants or some underwear, you can stick them into the other side of the packing cube so you can keep them organized. You know what you've already worn and you don't end up accidentally wearing something uh, two or three times in a row that you don't want to. In the past, I've also used packing cubes like this to just compress everything into one cube. When I don't wanna take multiple cubes, sometimes I just pack you know, my underwear and shirts on one side and then a pair of jeans or chinos on the other side and I end up just leveraging both sides of the packing cubes just on its own and not necessarily separate them out into dirtier clothes. That's something I do for shorter trips, but it can work very well. So I really like this design. Uh, as far as what these packing cubes can hold, you know, they work great at just like any other packing cubes, whether you like to fold your clothes, whether you like to roll your clothes. You know, I go a little bit back and forth on which way I prefer. So in this medium packing cube at the moment, I just tossed in a bunch of t-shirts that I have folded up 
and I haven't even packed these out completely. I was able to fit about five t-shirts in here comfortably with leftover space in the large packing cube at the moment. I actually tossed in a few pairs of pants, so I have some jeans and chinos, and these I did end up rolling up just to kind of showcase that the packing cubes will work regardless of your packing style. So really like that you have a lot of options. It's a really impressive amount of space offered by these. And then in the small packing cube, just to kind of show all of them, I use this generally for socks and underwear. Um, and so that's what I tossed in here, a few pairs of socks, a few pair of underwear. One thing you'll notice about this cubes is that they have clamshell style openings so you can open them up completely flat to easily see you know what you're packing i love this so that when i get to my hotel i can just place each cube down and grab what i need and then one of the things i thought was interesting about the cubes is that they don't have any sort of compression a lot of the cubes that we've looked at on the channel such as the one from arquito that i feature in a lot of my videos and light travel they have a zippered compression system that helps just kind of tighten the cubes down and give you a little bit more space you know, this is a feature that maybe not everybody uses. In the past, I used a lot of packing cubes that didn't have any sort of compression, and that was fine. They still work great for keeping your stuff organized and easy to find. And I also don't like sometimes that compression can tend to create awkward shapes with the cubes. I feel like it can create some bulging, so I really like when the cubes maintain their kind of flatter shape. It makes it easier to play that Tetris game with packing cubes and fit everything nicely. But I do generally like having the compression a little bit more since I've gotten used to it. Uh, my guess is that they were left off of these packing cubes, maybe more to save weight and just create a simpler cube overall. Zippers add a little bit of weight. I think not so much that it would you know, be worth sacrificing the compression necessarily. Uh, but then you also have the dirty clothes compartment, the regular clothes compartment. So it might've just been too many zippers. I'm not entirely sure, but I would have liked to have seen the compression. I find it valuable, not necessarily for the space saving, but what I like about them is that they actually help hold your clothes in place, particularly when the packing cube isn't as packed out. So I have this cube here, which you can see isn't packed out all the way. The clothing is a little bit loose. Now this is merino wool, so it won't wrinkle too badly, but it is likely to shift while this is in my bag and I'm walking around. And so I like that when you have a compression cube, it helps give you that extra bit of security on the clothing and prevent shifting to just keep it looking a little nicer when you take it out of the bag. And you know, this also forces me to really try to fill up any of these cubes when I wanna travel with them to just make sure that stuff isn't bunching up along the bottom. So, you know, it's not ideal. I would have liked to have seen the compression, but as with many of the other packing cubes that are currently on the market, they still work very nicely without the compression. I did still enjoy using these. I think they work great with Air's ecosystem of bags. And if you're looking for some lightweight and durable packing cubes that are gonna help you keep your stuff organized while you're on the go, then these are gonna be a pretty good option to check out. And then taking a look at the card holder again, Air keeping their aesthetic very consistent, a really minimal and modern vibe here. I love how clean the exterior looks on one side. It's just a plain black exterior. You have the little Hypalon Air logo along the side. And then on the back, you have a few slots for some cards. So just a very simple aesthetic. I really love how well this matches with a lot of Air's other bags. And it's just the style that I normally like to have with me for my EDC. I really like kind of blacked out accessories like these that are, are also very slim. The materials on these is, you know, really solid, similar to Air's other products. 1680D ballistic nylon, which, you know, feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage and just being carried around in your pocket. You also have a YKK zipper at the top and it's this locking style zipper that you kind of have to flip up to be able to open effectively so that works smoothly. And it's nice to have a zipper on a more minimal wallet like this. And so as far as the form factor, one of the things that stood out to me the most about this is the size. So if, this is a very slim wallet, as you can see, it's meant to be a card holder, but it's actually quite tall, especially compared to some of the other minimal wallets that I featured in prior videos. So here is the Ridge wallet, which is one of the wallets that I've also been trying out recently. You can see there's a substantial size difference in the height, particularly it's also wider, but it's a very tall wallet, which surprised me a bit. It still fits pretty well into my back pocket. It also works as a front pocket wallet. Uh, so just a little bigger than I would normally like to see. I also have here the Bellroy card sleeve, which is another one of the wallets that I've really enjoyed using recently. And you know, on a side-by-side, -side, you can see again, just a little bit taller, a little bit wider. 
um, but still not so overwhelming that I would be against using it for my day to day. But as a travel wallet, this size actually has worked very nicely to give me a little bit more flexibility with the type of currency that I can hold and just having some extra items that I might like to have with me while I'm on a trip. So I'll start diving into what I actually have in the wallet now. On the front, as I mentioned, there's a few slots for any quick grab cards that you need to get to. You can add three cards here. I like how they're staggered so you can easily grab the one that you're looking for. So the uh, card holder has a pretty secure hold on the cards. I like that they don't fall out if uh, you know you happen to flip it upside down. I've seen that with a few of the other wallets that I've tried, so that's always a concern. Particularly in this front one, I have my Tesla key. I absolutely love that it uses a key card instead of keys, and so that goes in there. And then I have just a few other that I grab you know, fairly regularly on my day-to-day. -day. And then one of the things that I loved about this for travel is this zippered area, which you know is becoming more rare in these slimmer wallets and is great for when you need to carry like coins, when you're abroad, it's still something that, that you have to deal with. The zipper itself works pretty smoothly. It's not as aqua guarded as some of Air's other zippers, so that might have been nice to see. At the top, it does feel like there might be a slight bit of exposure here on the corner. It's not completely covered, but I haven't noticed any issues with water getting on the inside. Just something that you'll wanna be mindful of if you have this um, outside while you're caught in some rain. So opening the compartment up on the inside, you really have a nice amount of capacity for you know, a variety of currency that you might wanna hold. So I have some bills here folded up, um, but you know, some of the bills that are used internationally are a little bit bigger, so it's great that those would still be able to fit comfortably in this compartment. I also have a few cards that I tossed in here as well that I don't reach quite as regularly. And then on the inside, you have a very soft microfiber lining, which is gonna help prevent against scratching if you put anything a little bit more sensitive in here, or if you have cards that are a little nicer and you don't want them getting scratched up. Um, it's gonna help add some just kind of nice soft protection. And then this also has an RFID protected lining. So when you travel abroad, there's always that bit of security concern or not abroad, just anywhere that you travel. You never know where people have kind of credit card uh, scanners or anything like that. So it's great that you have this area that you can toss more sensitive items into uh, just to give you that extra bit of peace of mind. And then you can zip it up and it's still fairly quick access when you need it. And if not, you have your cards on the front. So really just great simple layout overall i love the balance of capacity and you know slimness that this offers and never got too bulky and you know as i mentioned it's a little bit bigger than what i would normally like for my edc but it still works quite well especially if you have to carry a little bit more stuff with you and for travel this is just a fantastic form factor that uh has worked out very well on the trips that i've tested it out for and so you can currently purchase the new packing cubes on air site starting at about $30 for the smallest size of the cube and then going up to $40 for the largest version. You can purchase the card holder on their site for about $40 to $50 and to me these prices seem pretty reasonable considering the features and build quality that they have to offer and they're also very much in line with other similar items in these price ranges. And so as I was testing this out these made me think a lot of many of the packing cubes that I've featured on the channel in the past. One of the things that I mentioned during the video is that I was a little sad that they don't include any sort of compression system. Now, they're still great packing cubes without that, but if you like that feature, I definitely recommend checking out options like the Arquito Compressible Pack Cube, which I featured in a ton of my videos. That's kind of my go-to with a lot of the travel that I do because it just offers a nice amount of space and it packs everything down and keeps it in place. I also recommend checking out some of the light travel packing cubes that we featured a while back. And those offer double compression, they're very lightweight, they come in a variety of sizes, you can hang them up. So those are really versatile, I love using those as well. And then the last option that I'll mention is the Bluff Cube, which offers a little bit of a different style of packing cube. It's not a clamshell style cube and it has an adjustable compression system, which is really unique. It's not gonna be for everybody, but I've enjoyed mixing and matching all of these cubes quite a bit. So you really just kind of have to try as many of them as you can out and then find a system that works well. I think I'll definitely continue to use the Arquito cube and then maybe combine it with the smaller packing cube that they have here and then some of the other ones that I mentioned. So try them out. Regardless, these are still a very great option for allowing you to pack modularly and you know saving on weight. And then as for the card holder, we've looked at a ton of minimal wallets on the channel in the past. I've done a few roundup videos. I definitely recommend you check those out if you wanna see some of the other options that I would compare to this. 
companies such as Bellroy and The Ridge offer really sleek, minimal wallets. As I mentioned during the video, this is gonna be a little bit bigger than I would normally like to have for my EDC. So some of the wallets in those videos are gonna be smaller, but for travel, I still think this is one of the best that you can get because it has that zipper and the RFID protection. So I've really enjoyed using it for that purpose. And as always, I'm curious to hear what you guys think of these items. And if there are any similar ones that you think I should feature on the channel, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the items for me to test out. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.